What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of What the Truck. You got me Solomon here today and we have this beautiful bump side behind us and it's Mark's Mr. Bump Life himself. Dude, what the truck? Hey, how's it going? Great, how are you? Good, good. Tell me about this thing over here, bro. Uh, well, it's a new crew cab I just got finished. Uh, it's a 1970 F-250. Best crew cab? Yep, F-250, short bed. Uh, I painted it a battleship gray. And when you say you painted it, you painted it. Yes, I painted it in my garage with no paint booth. Um, I got 17 grills hanging on my wall and they're all full of dust, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, you did such a good job. I mean, I've been following you doing this and if you guys don't know who Mark is, you need to join Bump Life on Facebook and Instagram because you pretty much post all the coolest stuff. Your Facebook group has so much information. Yeah. And yeah. we were able to see every step of the way of what you were doing to this thing. I mean, how long of a process has it been? Take us back to the beginning. Like, how did you get this truck? What was the story? Well, I, uh, I bought the truck uh, from Georgia, and uh, it, it was two and a half years ago. And um, I just, I, I always wanted a crew cab, got lucky finding this one. Um, and I started picking colors out, and it's a little funny story, but my, my dad growing up used to make me paint a block wall gray, battleship gray, every year. Really? It's the truth. And I, uh, I just, it's such, it's so big, it's like a battleship. And I thought, why not paint a battleship gray, have the red interior, just something to make it pop. Dude. So, uh, and that's the route I went with. You it know? turned out so good. I mean, the interior on this thing, is beautiful. I love how you had the door panels wrapped and then you still did the trim around it. And one of my favorite parts, now I see you have the awesome keychain. Yes, sir. But I really love the F600, uh, the dash. Yeah. I don't yeah. see that too often. I always like the way those look. Uh, guy, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what started with the chrome. I, I got bought the dash off another member from Bump Life. And uh, once I held the, the chrome dash up to this gray, because I didn't think chrome would go with this gray. You it know? does so well. And it just goes good. Uh, everything was supposed to be white grill, white bumpers, white steering wheel with the gray. And you already had it that way. I remember seeing the pictures. Well, I yeah, and uh, once I did that dash, I thought, man, and my... Uh, Man, my one of my friends, nice. old man Jack, he he redid the mirrors for me, and that's what started it. And I had the grill, the chrome, uh, the grill chromed, and the hubcaps polished, um, and it just snowballed. You know how it, you know how it goes. You just can't leave good enough alone. Trust me, we um, all been there. I had the guy uh, did the interior down in Dayton. His name is Shane Gamble. He even did uh, stitched the, the steering wheel by hand and all. I mean, it's, really? it's beautiful, beautiful job he did. Uh, I did the paint myself, uh, the paints uh, from Summit Racing. So, um, how many hours would you think you're in this thing for body work to get it this straight? Because you did a really nice job. Well, this truck here, I got lucky because I haven't found rust on it. Really? Yeah, there's not a bit of rust. And you sandblasted almost everything. Well, I did the bed, the inner fenders, the fenders, the firewall, the cab mounts, um, and the, the radiator support. The cab, I just sanded down. I took 80 grit, took it all the way down to bare metal as far as I could. Yeah. And uh, But I ain't found no rust at all. Well, that is awesome. And... Uh, are you done with the truck in your mind or you still have some stuff you're trying to do to it? Well, I like to detail the underneath a little bit more and uh, I think I'm pretty much done with it. I think body wise. Start uh, driving, clocking miles. Just enjoying it and uh, we camp all the time. So I, I built the truck to tow our camper. And Heck that's, yeah. that's the reason why I did it. And How was the trip down here? Uh, it took about eight, eight and a half hours to get here. So was it trouble free? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one girl took us down a dirt gravel road. Uh, I-75 was shut down, and oh. uh, we kind of got, uh, you know, I had drove around it. And uh, but other than that, the truck drove drove good. Uh, you know, it's a fresh build. You know, you know, I, I, my speedometer broke. Okay. So that's Just the only the thing cable? That happened. So cable popped. I think the head the head went. Okay. So um, and you still have the 390 in here? Yes, sir. I went back with. Uh, with the stock engine, 390, it has a C6. Um, oh, and I went red neat. to match the interior. That's the only reason why I painted it red for. I like it. So. Heck yeah. Um, Man, this is a beautiful truck. You did such a good job restoring this. And what I really like is that you, you restored it, you know? Like, it's really, 
it's a whole different perspective when you build it because you now know every inch of this you know everything i mean yeah. i'm sure when you were driving it here you hear a creak you're like okay I, you know maybe i didn't tighten this bolt as much as i should have yeah but you know yeah. because you remember tightening everything you yeah. remember doing it all and i think that's really cool yeah well i appreciate that man it, it's fun building these it's like a big old uh lego or puzzle or something you know me or car model you know what they say yeah. us us guys we don't get bigger yeah. i mean we don't get we don't get wiser we just get older and our toys just become bigger bigger yeah <laughs> yeah so it's a neat old truck you don't see him i had uh i went to a car show last weekend with it first first time out and i had people arguing with me that they said it wasn't real huh and I said, I, and they said I built it. And I said, I didn't build this truck. It's it, Ford built the truck. And yeah. so um, it's pretty good. Awesome. Well, I am going to bust out the drone. We're going to fly it around, get some cool shots. All right, guys, so that's it. We're all finished, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a really fun time making it. This truck is beautiful, and uh, that's all she wrote. So if you guys can, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, you can like the video. Have any questions, comments, you can drop them down below. And uh, if you want to get some merch, I got hats, T-shirts, keychains, stickers, all types of goodies. Head over to FordArrow.com. We'll see you in the next video.